it is so hot in here like very hot it's like but it's summer anyway i'm pretty sure like the summer already started so it is very hot but salam and welcome back hello and welcome back to this lovely medium yes it's a medium So, assalamu alaikum and welcome to the channel. Or, hello and welcome to the channel. So, welcome to back to this medium. Okay, so, I want to talk about it. Or just, like, clear my mind off of it. Because, you know, it's actually kind of personal to me too. So, I was like, ah, oh, do I really want to do this? Or do I not want to? But I think I will. And hopefully, you get to see it. Or if I get self-conscious, then I might not even like end up like uploading or doing anything about it. But I hope that I will be able to share it. Oh my goodness. I have such a few minutes though. That's I mean this scarf is beautiful. I like the color, it's cool. So I like the color and it's from Sheen. So, and so beautiful. I think I got it about like maybe like four, you know, five, six, I don't know, something around it. But anyways, I really, I do want to talk about this and I'm going to start off by saying jealousy. Do you struggle with jealousy? I know like, I, I mean, I say this a lot on, on my channel. Like we're all human beings and we go through so many emotions, so many disturbing emotions, negative emotions really envy anger i mean envy is really bad but envy anger jealousy blah blah and what's not so i want to take my time and talk about it and as any emotions you can experience jealousy in different ways like but just a disclaimer i'm not an expert in any of this like i'm not a guru or professional expert in any of it but like i would but it's something that i want to talk about because like i you know i'll i'll say the reason why at the end but i would like to say a few things starting now let's not divert ourselves so i'm not an expert so and please it's it's my opinions and don't call me on anything that you I mean like if you think that something that I say might be good for you and you want to try it out of course why not but please I'm not a professional just to say that just to clear that up mm. so what causes jealousy what causes us to be get jealous and to be jealous of the other person or like yeah other person or other things if that's is applicable okay so what cause jealousy by many things you're not where you want to be in life or somebody else have something else than you something that you really want say like i don't know you might be jealous over somebody else's beauty or that they have this opportunity in life and maybe they are not using it well or maybe they are using it well and they are doing so well and so good when me from me like what i've noticed is some are directional and some are not directional and some jealousy are like it is caused by other people like exerting some certain things or what's oh, like, oh like for example, or you might have some people that be like, oh, I have this, I have that. And they might be fumbling it around then so that you just kind of like get jealous kind of in that sense. But then you have to remember that if, if people are fumbling or they are um, exaggerating in what they have, trying to instigate some negative emotions in others, then like you should know that even at that time maybe you shouldn't be jealous because they're not doing it in the right way for you to get negatively impact by that thing that's what i saw and some and i guess that's the one that are directional and then the one that are not directional is like oh you see someone have beautiful house and you want that or you or anything anything you want that's 
somebody else have and you don't have and you get jealous because of it. Yeah. I guess, I mean, you want what the person has. Would that be considered jealousy or that you're going to envy you like that? Yeah. You want something that somebody or some other person has have and you do not have. Even though it's a part, it's a it's an emotion, I mean, and it's a valid emotion to want something else. Maybe in terms of like you want to better yourself or you want to get to some a certain place in life. I mean it's okay, like oh you have this and want I want that. And I guess you can even say to the person that oh blah 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 just so that they know and they know that you're safe. Because I feel like if you say if you say to someone that's oh you have this beautiful house blah 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 and maybe like you you and maybe you kind of like subtly or even unsubtly say it in that sense it might even help you feel better that you sh you got that statement out of you like you share it with them and maybe if you if you and you have to say of course you have to say it politely and in a way that is not like you're not giving eyeing them or you know anything like that you're not doing too much you're just doing it subtly like you're basically you're com complimenting them i feel like that helps if you struggle with it i feel like that helps if you compliment them because i feel like if you are complimenting them in that way you are doing like in uh, you are like forming another reaction like that like even though you're feeling a little bit negative internally, but you can express positively. And that will, a little things like that, I think that helps with jealousy. Because, you know, if you don't get rid of jealousy, it might turn into envy, and envy is pure. Not good. If you're envious, that's not good. Don't think that being jealous sometimes kind of help in terms of in terms of you also working to attain something good or something better or something the same as the other person but i guess we go overboard when we start getting angry and being negative or you know looking the other person down to the fact that you you may or might give them an evil eye which is not fair which should encourage and which will encourage positivity and encourage success if for others and for ourselves. And that's I'm going to go to you yeah, know even sometimes jealousy comes from the fact that maybe you have done so much. You have done your very best. Like you have you have worked hard, you have done you have gotten advices you have put in every single step and you saw that it's not working for you whereas it's working for the other person so it might also come from that and and i'm in that sense i guess you can especially if you're putting like your own work and you see that things are not working for you you know sometimes things happen i mean natural things like maybe you you got sick and you can't fulfill this this goal that you want and this other person is fulfilling is they are doing so well they're doing an awesome job you know that you can get jealous because of that i, I don't know if to say that that kind of jealousy will be valid even though like it's a negative emotion and you don't want it to consume you that's the that's the main thing there with jealousy or like all oh, this other negative emotion like you don't want it to con consume you that like it eats you especially if it's something that especially if you have no control over it like if you like, like i said example if you are sick or if something really bad happen that halt you or stop you from achieving something and you see this other person beside you they are doing so well they're doing so great like oh, why does this happen to me i mean like that can happen so you have some things that happen naturally like that and you're like really at this time at this time 
And like I said before, some people... So I guess you can say jealousy can stem out of like setbacks, you know, I mean, I'm here alive um, doing this talk or medium or YouTube, whatever, uh, creating the content and some somebody might be out there that they want to do something like this, but they don't have the means, they don't have any that and they could just be like, oh, why does she have that? Why don't I have this? And sometimes it's not even about working towards it. I mean, like I said before, you might be working towards something so bad. Like you're putting your 100, your 200% of effort and you're not getting anything. And I know people, Some many people are patient and they're very patient until they break. It's like, oh, no, I can't do this anymore. I can't take this. Sometimes we do some things, like we start comparing, like what I said before, you compare, oh, this person do this, this person doesn't do this, I have this, I don't have that. You compare, you compare in terms of like what you have and what you don't have. Somebody else has that you want or any variations like that. Like they said, comparisons is actually bad. Like especially if you're going to say, oh, why don't I have this? Why don't I? Why am I not as beautiful as the other person? Why not this? Why not that? Like when you see it that way, as in like, oh, why don't I have this? Why don't I have that? Why am I not in this space that I want? Blah blah, and you start doing something like that to yourself. You know, you're not helping the situations. You started wallowing about what other people have and what you don't have, and I realized that. Like, I, I don't know if I do it a lot. I hope I don't. Yeah. So, in terms of comparisons, comparisons are bad. If you, Especially if you're going to wallow and be like, oh, I don't have this, I don't have that. Like, if you're going to do this, there's nothing to just don't do it. Like if you're, but if you're going to say, oh, this is so beautiful. This person has such a beautiful house. I hope one day I have that. Or but if you're going to say, oh, why do they have that kind of thing? Why this? Why that? They have it because they, I don't know, they bought it. They, somebody gifts it to them. You know, some people, and, and, and you can say that it's your luck too. <laughs> Sorry, or oh, you can say that it's your luck too, and say, like, Oh, why not? Since somebody gift me something like that, but but we're all gifted differently in terms of talent, in terms of how people even react. Some, some people are so blessed that you just have to accept it, you just have to accept it and move on. And in t when you look at these people that are like, you know, you they have it all, or they they are doing so fine in in their lives. I mean, I remember that you're also looking from an outside view. You're looking or comparing outwardly. You're not in their position. You don't know maybe they have to pay one thousand dollars every month for that and they don't even know where to get that one thousand dollars of course you might say oh somebody that uh, is that beautiful or somebody that have that kind of talent or somebody that have that kind of house wouldn't be able to afford something else in their life as good but you'll be surprised how many or what people go through in life like you'll be really surprised people go through a lot of hard things and It doesn't matter if you're rich or if you're amazing, you still have negative things happen to you. And it's we said it's part of life, it's part of growth, and just join the line and hang in there. What to do when you catch yourself doing this? What do you do when you catch yourself like actually wallowing on other people's success? Or other people's blessing.
go to the playground, go swing. <laughs> yeah, I actually do go to the playground as well. No, just remember that you know the other person is either they work for what they have or they give them or they have such an amazing support around them or they have they have you you so you know sometimes some things predispose you into blessings like some things happen to you like in luck Yeah, maybe if you're a people person or if you're just blessed and like no matter what you do, people radiate to you and so your success just is loud. It's, yeah, may, maybe it's like that sometimes. Luck. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sometimes it's like that, like luck or people radiate to other person or some people are just so blessed. Like I said before, and you cannot do anything about it. Sorry. Reality. Check. 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 So, what to do? Don't wallow. And if you are a very religious person or you're a spiritual person, again, prayer is there. Do pray. Do do your very best and continue do and continue your own efforts and one day god will put blessings in your work like the other persons and i guess so they say it stems from that one day you just shoot up and you're not coming down and you remember all those hard years so when you look to when you used to look at the other person and be like they have everything and you don't so don't swallow Specialists don't compare. I know, like I say it, and I do it, so I'm guilty of it. So, like, you can be like, oh, but this, but that, but this, like, don't do it. It won't help. And take days at a time. If you need to cry, because you know, these emotions are real, and you you can't hide them. You can be like, oh, I don't have problems with them. No, you do. Like, embrace it, accept it. We all go through it, and if you need to cry, cry. If you need to talk, talk. If you need to like go to therapy because of it, especially if it's growing into something like envy, then like maybe you need to talk about it. If you need to dance, if you need to, you know, just do something that will take your mind off of it. I mean, I'm saying this as a person that i've also experienced and i will say what why am i why i actually make this video too so so yes calm yourself down embrace and caution yourself honestly caution take precaution you if you find yourself doing the comparison too much relax no and don't ignore the emotions really and it is a valid it is valid emotions to have but you just don't want to go overboard that you started willing bad things to the other person yeah you don't want to go overboard you, yes you don't want to go overboard by you know saying negative things about the other person wishing them harm or even to the to the point that you might even give someone a bad eye or an evil eye. No. You don't you really want to be cautious of that. So you don't you know you attract what you give out. If you give negativities, negative might come back to you. And if you give positivities, of course you will get what you radiate. The sun is radiating. And I'm radiating as well. Get it? Get it? So think of it like that. When you're going through it, don't harm the others. By, don't directly harm others and don't indirectly harm others as well. You know, it's so weird how like I'm talking about it, like how negative emotions can come in an instance and it's so sometimes it feels like it's so easy to get this all these negative emotions than it is to get the positive ones it's like how oh, how come how come how come like 
you talk about patience you can be patient for 20 years 30 years 40 years like it's like how does this happen shift your goals yes shift your goals if you must if you reroute yourself we juvenile and also if you're focusing much on other people's blessings and you're not evaluating yours you know you're kind of like disservice disservicing yourself in that manner like oh that person has that what about what you have that person do this what about what you do i mean like or do you you don't do anything maybe you wash your dishes this morning that's you clean you tidy or maybe you gift someone um five bucks as in charity that's a good thing so what about what you do instead of focusing outwardly on what somebody else is doing or what they are attaining what about you focus inwardly one time i was i was really worried about like maybe about five years back i was so worried like what is going on like i was feeling so sad and so down and i was like what am i doing wrong so i don't know how i how or what maybe i read it somewhere or maybe i just got maybe it just came off my head so i started writing everything that has happened to me that i did that is positive like only positive things that i've done like since since i've been alive since i was born so my first thing on there was i was born it's a good thing that i was born like you're lucky to want to be experienced in life so i listed that and it was a long list i said it was five years ago so that actually enlightened me even for that because then every time i started thinking about like some things that i don't have or some more other people that I saw that I have some things that I don't have, then I look at back at the list. You know what? I've achieved so much that I ignored, and I and I could and even if I don't do anything else after this, I can always look back because I don't reflect so much on what I have done. And you know, I do a lot of things. I do volunteering. I go out with my friends. I'm so I'm cool with my sisters. I helped when i can and if i can i work i you know so many things i pay my bills things like oh these are good things these are amazing things that i do i go to school i finish school it's like i should congratulate myself more and when i like when i listed that and i said you know doing all this is not easy and i just gotta move forward and it, it was so, so, and you know, sometimes some things come so suddenly on you and it dwells you and it drains you. It's like, why am I feeling this? I wasn't feeling like this days before. So with that being said, so I did this because recently I realized that, I mean, that's, I mean, that year of my life or that age of my life, like, oh, what's next? What's next? What's next? Honestly, I'm not a person that does the jealous thing a lot like i don't see myself as i'm not like that so lately i've just been looking around me and i'm like hmm, what's next what's next and you know you kind of like look around you look at people around you like, okay so these people are moving on in life even though i don't know where they are in life but to me it looks like they're moving on so, hmm, so how am i doing like how am i going to to attain my goals how am i going to achieve this and yes i keep going when you talk about jealousy or how jealousy come about it's like you're doing you're you're doing the things that you're supposed to be doing but you're not just getting the results at a, at the time that you want like you're doing the enough you're doing your work you're being diligent but you're not getting the 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 answers the success the fruits of your labor you're not getting it's like, why does this keep happening why am i not attaining there faster like this other person that i'm looking being jealous of someone or something it has to do with time as well as in oh i'm not achieving as the same maybe they got there they got a job that you want last two months and you know it's the second month and you still haven't gotten it so it's the timing like oh i'm not 
too in tune with this negativity but why am i not getting at the same time you get what i mean so yes shift goals as in like shift your mindset as in if you are doing if you are just looking at this other person look at somebody else somebody else that maybe you're on the same level in life or somebody else that maybe you wish to help you know altruism you might help someone in it in that way it's like oh this makes me feel better like i'm doing something else for somebody or if if it's something that is really bothering you maybe you want to put it aside and face some other things and be preoccupied in that instead of this that can give you this negative taste and also like be in tune with your gut in this time like usually you notice that when you're going through hard time despite all the oh despite the sadness or the depression that you might feel you host you you still have that intuition in mind that's calling you back to like why don't you go this way why don't you reroute why don't you maybe you need to stop being with a certain person or a certain group say like some say like this jealousy or this negativity comes from you hanging out with someone that you know maybe they are always pointing out a fault in you and maybe you want to give yourself some space so you can reevaluate, reflect and manage yourself i guess we're all managing these days yeah, we're all managing, managing life, managing ourselves, managing our emotions. So I noticed lately that, you know, I've been a little bit like, oh, what's going on? I show And like w one time... <laughs> And then one time I was like, I caught myself, like, just say, like, why am I not achieving this? Why am I not doing this? Why am I, why am I trying so hard and not getting there? And, you know, I refer back with, and I refer back with some things that are happening in the past. And I was like, oh, why? But well, why? Let me talk to my screen about it to people about it and like yeah and you know it's so strange because i don't i don't like i said before and it's not bragging i don't get it a lot but i guess i'm in it and in that space where i got time and i was like oh what's going on here why not why why are we not getting there aisha why are we not getting there like, calm down calm down like sometimes I just want to give myself, actually every day I want to give myself a hug for resiliency, for being patient and for having strength and still going on further, further. Despite that, you know, we might have setbacks, we are actually going forward. I mean, we're not stuck yesterday. If you wake up today, you're not stuck, you're not stuck yesterday. And whatever happened yesterday, either you are jealous of other person, or either you, I don't know, you're angry about the another person. In any way, you're moving forward. But please don't move forward positively. We all need that. Yeah, everybody needs that. And smile. And go to gym. Because working out do help your emotion. Hug someone. Yeah. Enjoy that oxytocin. Yeah, enjoy the ox oxytocin and hug a lot of people. Yeah, the love hormone. Yes. So I was so self-conscious. Like, do I really want to talk how I'm struggling with this? When this thing happened, you realize that you're not really jealous. You're not really jealous of the other person or in a negative way, in any way, really. You're jealous positively because you just feel that you have put in the time, you have put in the effort, you have put in the prayer, you have put in the patience and like it's like you it's like you just want to snap like what is going on? Why am I not getting this? And I'm doing 
as much effort as the other person. So positive jealousy in that way. Like yeah. I guess maybe you could say that the time the time is doing you wrong, and you can also direct this jealousy to another thing, like another non-object thing. I don't know. Maybe you want to punch your pillow to relieve that stress from you. And yes, that's what I want to talk about on jealousy. Don't ignore it. It's an emotion. It's real. And really, sometimes if you look at jealousy, it can make you work harder and achieve and achieve as the other person or as you want. And if you don't, then you don't. And it doesn't mean that you didn't put the effort. It doesn't mean that you didn't work hard as the other person. It doesn't mean any of that. It just means that you didn't for one reason or the other. And maybe you need to re maybe you need to reset goals or try something else. Try a different goal that will bring you much more. But know that the emotion is valid. I know sometimes you're like, oh, don't be jealous about the other person. Yes, don't be. But the emotion is valid and if you are, it's like something lacking inside and you just work for it to achieve that as well. And sometimes it's just like, you know, if you, and sometimes people be like, just go have a rest, go sleep and go have a peace of mind and you are as good as anyone else, no matter how successful they are. And remember, like they say, you see outwardly, you're judging from outside perspective. You're not in. Because if you're in and you know what they had to do or what they had to go to, you might be like, wow, thank God for what I have. So, uh, yeah, so really that's what I want to say. Salam alaikum. And don't forget to like, comment, share. And yeah. Hopefully you will be seeing this video or else